you are a IDF veteran, and you are also the founder of an interfaith group, but you are not Jewish. Why would they hurl anti-Semitic slurs at you and attack you? It's not about, uh, not even about that. I'll tell you even further than that. For them, <clears throat> they want to harm me even more because I'm an Arab and uh, their natural uh, 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 thought is that as an Arab, I should be opposing Israel. But Israel is my country. And from what they are telling and also from what we are hearing, uh, whether it's in the media or in, on the social media, or from those anti-Israeli pro-Palestinian pro protesters, uh, from what we're hearing and what we're seeing, there's a complete or there's a huge gap between the reality of what I have in, uh, in my country. So when they see me as an Arab trying to expose all this, they even get more dangerous and they want to attack more and they, they threaten me more. I, I'm even being threatened by the terrorist organization Hamas uh, itself. Um, so the fact is that I'm an Arab who is trying to defend my country makes it even uh, uh, more dangerous in their eyes, and that's why they will attack me.